the 1st of March, first day of meteorological spring. <laughs> doesn't feel like it, does it? No, it's, it's not raining now. It certainly doesn't look like it either. Everything's still very bleak. We haven't really done anything since end of September, no, down we there. haven't. It's just been rainy and wet, we have a little wonder. We've really only just come to do some harvesting, haven't we? Yeah. Some parts of the plot have obviously been just standing in water. Not as bad as down the bottom end of the site, though, where they've been flooded, haven't they? Yeah, it was certainly standing in water down there. Hiya. Hiya. A few dry days I might be able to sort of at least take the top off the grass. Yeah. Although it is soggy. A lot of the weed control fabric's loosened, doesn't it, in the winds? Yeah. Which I suppose about. is just a minor issue. Yeah. But there's no winter digging at all. We've still got the onions. Yeah, I think they've suffered a little bit though. Now we'll go around and have a look at them. Eh? Just hope they'll pick up a little bit. They're still growing. It looks as though one or two. Yeah, they've like had a lot of the tops. Just some over off. there that yeah, seem to have blown out. Well, yeah, but they've all had the tops snagged off in the wind, I think. Of the leaves, we just have to see what happens. Quite a few rhubarbs are coming up out of your new bed. Yeah, there's, there should be some over that other part of the plot but there's no sign of them. There's one little one up Yeah, there. no over, further over. But they could be later, couldn't they? Could be. We never did quite get our honeyberry bed finished, did we? We've still got that edge no. to sort out. Up at this end, Martin, there are some primroses, oh, but are, not yeah. as many as normal. I think a it, lot are still hidden under that grass. Oops. So I think as well, birds have been nibbling yeah. at them. We used to have a whole road. Yeah, there is, there's a road there. down there, but it needs sorting out. Yeah, it's just because we haven't sorted anything out. Normally I'd have weeded September. all that, wouldn't well, I? Well, the grass would all? probably be cut as well. Yeah. But you can see right into that corner over there by the post, there's, there's a row, but they're just all amongst the grass. And they might actually need resetting or mm, doing possibly. again. Possibly. Can't see that happening because this spring's going to be busy. No, but you can do it later on, can't you? Yeah. One thing that we're not going to manage to do either this year is winter wash on the fruit trees because they're, they're budding, already they? starting to break bud certainly this quince is and the pears are yeah they are the apples aren't quite but the green gauge and plums are all in bud they got a nice little group of crocuses down there yeah, shall we head we to are. those Plenty of buds on this, haven't we? Yeah. This one gets a lot of buds, a lot of flowers and no fruit, That's doesn't right. it? There's quite a few little crocuses yeah. that have multiplied. Which is amazing because I've never planted any crocuses in <laughs> at all. Okay. Coming from various different parts, don't they? Mm. Tulips are growing. We have done a little bit of harvesting, haven't we, while mm. we're down here? Shall we go? The aquilegias are growing as well, aren't they? Yeah. 
And that looks like some raspberry. I'm not sure whether it's a raspberry or something else. Well, let's go and have a look at what we harvested. It's all soggy here. It certainly is. So I picked some broccoli. So there's some Rudolph and some ordinary purple sprout. Do you either. remember which is which? I'm guessing that's that, the ordinary that, purple no, sprout no, with a bit more that, leaf on. All right, yeah. There was more on Rudolph though, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Seems to have survived the ravages of the uh, wood Pigeons, pigeons a yeah. bit better. And then there's a Killerton cabbage that I think is all right. And some extremely early rhubarb. And that rhubarb hasn't been forced. What happened here? Uh, I pulled that bit by mistake. Spinach is still growing in there. Yeah, one thing we're going to have to do, isn't it, is sort out how many tubs we've got. Because yeah. we're going to try and get early potatoes in some tubs and bags because... Didn't they say not, carrots as yeah, well? Yeah, some carrots. They're definitely not going to go in outside very early. On this side we've got a lot of bulbs coming this, up. This some... is coming, this. Yeah, they're breaking bud, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I said the plums and the gauges. So we've got some dafts coming and the others are bluebells, aren't they? Yeah. Unfortunately, Spanish ones. Oh dear, Spanish ones. But you uh, can't get rid of them if you try, so they're not going to impinge on any English ones here. That's the clump of rhubarb that we've had a few stalks from. As you can see, certainly not been forced. We Go. ought to have had a look at that little buddleia. Well, just Shall I back? back up there and have a look at that little buddleia. This is uh, self-sown buddleia that we found and we're hoping it's a white one because it was quite near to where someone's got or had a white one. It's been in this pot all winter and it's not lost any leaves or anything. So we just let it It looks grow, really well, we? doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't know where it'll end up eventually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on again now. Do these uh, pigeon ravaged broccoli? It's really because all the uh, environment yeah, has the blown off. Yeah, the has been it? blown off, and we did come down and never quite managed to get back on because it decided to pour down, didn't it? Yeah. There so, might be an odd cabbage we can still. Yeah, we'll leave them and see what happens. We got a couple of collies, didn't we? Although most yeah. of them sort of blew in the. Horrible weather. What's that little blue flower down there? Don't know. Looks like a speedwell or something. All these broccolis have been devastated by the wood pigeons, but we're going to try and cover these over before we go and perhaps they'll make a recovery. Who knows? And the other bad news is that at the end of here we had some spring cabbages and they've all decided to just go to seed rather than produce any heads so whether we can try any of the softer leaves I don't know but again we'll cover them up because at the ends whatever, maybe maybe they will produce a head because yeah, this the, one that one might looks but as though it the might. others what the others have seeded already and, and this one but they've already been wrecked by the wood pigeons and as well. And I did try and cover these back up again when we yeah, came down. Yeah, they've been recovered once, haven't they? Yeah. So all in all, I've been had, I think, four times February's average rainfall. Uh, over can six I inches. see some shoots on that? On the raspberries? Yeah. Yeah, they're shooting as well. They're the new ones, aren't they? Yeah.
So most of these look to have some new shoots, so I think they've all survived. Yeah. There's just some at the end that never had survived. To well, these never grew, did no. they? No. This batch in here, but then the ones at the end are going. They've all survived. We need some to fill in there, don't yeah. we? Yeah. And it's ripped all that weed control. No, it's pulled it all off and off. it needs sticking back that up. It needs all sorting. But when you look around the plot, you can see just how wet it's been. And obviously parts of the plot have just been standing in water. You can hear it squelching, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it's really, really wet. So up this bit is where we've got this other broccoli, isn't it? Which is Rudolph. Which, as you can see, the pigeons have had a go at. So again, we're going to try and cover it up before we go tonight. Do you think there'll be anything still all right on these parsnips? Well, I don't know, but I don't fancy trying to dig any up. Well, it's just absolute guns. You might come they down. They look as though they're growing again. Well, they are, which sort of makes me think they might not be very good now they've started to mm. grow. There's a few old carrots left in. Yeah, they can all come up, all those old carrots that are left in it's spotting of rain now and then we've got some leeks over there do you know even now some have started to go to seed can you see yeah and they weren't like that a few weeks ago no I don't think there's a lot else to see is there we just need some decent weather now, so our stuff might dry out a little bit. We might get one or two sprouts well, off these, you have a look you know. if you want. Well, is it worth getting them this week? Probably not, just at the minute, no. Seeing as we've got that broccoli. Yeah. Right, let's show we get this mesh covered up. Mm. I've also got the lavender to do. Yeah. It's um, starting to grow, I think. No, it's not too bad at home, it's starting to grow. It's a bit more protected at home, I suppose. But all this uh, stuff needs clipping yeah. back to keep the bed tidy. Yeah, I think we... I'd best start on this environment before it rains. Yeah. In fact, it is raining. Oh, goody, we just, just what we need is a drop of rain. We best get in quickly. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye bye.